Hello folks, Clive Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks again for joining us in our layout, creation, and build series, part 11. This week we're going to cover the Spear model. And the Spear model is actually one of the newest models that have been added into x -Lights. And this was added back in January, February when the 3D layout was in, uh, incorporated into x -Lights, uh 2019 version. So before we begin, this video is brought to you today by the PPD Sequence Club. When you join the PPD Sequence Club, you get one awesome professionally sequenced program song each month with your memberships subscription. You also get access to the huge discount offered in the PPD affiliate program. Our affiliates are James at Boscoya Studios, Ken at Wired Watts, Daryl and Michelle at Crockett Fantasy Lights, Extreme Lighting Displays, that's Troy Down Under. Uh, we have Holiday Sequences, Showstopper Sequences, Mike and Diane, and we have uh, Pixel Sequencing, that's Roger. Uh, Holiday Sequences, Robert, Jamie. We have uh, Wizards of Wire, that's, uh, that's Todd Merkel. We have Jay Deshins, designer, that's, uh, I think his name's Jason. I haven't talked to him recently. And then we have Scott LED, all layered up, that's Tim Biggs. We we have uh, Ricky at CCL Controllers, Holiday Lighting, uh, Matos Design, uh, so we all know who JR Matos is, and as well as Pixel 2 Things, David Beast is joining us as an affiliate as well. So folks, join the PPD Sequence Club, the only club that pays you back for being a member. You save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on your yearly purchases for your holiday build. So let's get right into the Spear model. And the Spear model is very, very simple and easy to understand. You're going to find that um, you're going to find that this is very familiar. And when we go in, we physically click on the button to create a Spear model. I'm going to throw this right here, and you'll notice I have another tree here, and and that's my hopes. Uh, maybe this would be a topper for it. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I personally don't have a spear in the display, but I did create one uh, about two or three years ago, and originally I used a different model, but it's kind of funny because the spear model is actually the model that I used, and the way that we think about a spear model is, and, and it's very simple to think about it, we right-click and we hit Node Layout. Now, the, this is the default, this is the way that it that uh, the Spear model is defaulted as. It is defaulted as what looks like a horizontal or a vertical matrix. So whenever you start a Spear model, it starts at the bottom and goes at the top. This is the default setting, but you can always change this. Now, if you come over here, you'll notice you have a start location, bottom left, and that's where the first pixel in the model is starting. So uh, in the default settings that you have a 10 by 10 with one string per strand. So remember, each time you see a different color in this node layout, whenever you right click and do a node layout, this stands for a separate output on a controller. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, there's not many people I know that would create a 10 pixel by 10 pixel or a 100 pixel uh, matrix and use 10 pixels per output. Uh, so that's the goal today is to show you how I would set up this model that may be a little bit more reasonable or uh, to kind of help guide you. So once again, first of all, notice it says number of strings. The number of strings is actually equal to the number of ports that you plug into your into your uh, controller. If you have one string that you're plugging in, then you're going to use one string. If you have two strings, you're going to use uh, two outputs or two strings. So uh, then the other thing is how many strings per strand um, uh, or strings, how many nodes per string. I guess that's the second one. I don't want to confuse you. And you're going to notice, once again, this layout looks very, very familiar. So in the past, we created a couple different models. And one of those models was this here vertical model here. And this vertical matrix, this is pretty much exactly what this model is. This is a vertical matrix that goes up and down. We also have for the uh, opposite, we have the same kind of thing going on here. We have a horizontal matrix um, that goes left to right. Now these are just screenshots here, but just keeping in mind that the Spear model is now nothing more than the matrix models that you've already seen in the previous videos. So if, if this looks like it's a repeat of everything we're doing, yes it is, but it's a little different because now it's available to be viewed in the 3D realm. Um, 
I, I I'm not I'm not one for getting into too much 3D. I don't I personally won't use 3D in my layout this year. I mean, I actually did kind of model my layout in 3D, but it really isn't uh, necessary for my specific application because my house is more flat. Uh, it's never affected my sequencing in the past, and I've been able to uh, utilize x lights to its fullest potential for my layout. However, your mileage may vary if you are on a street corner and you have more than one preview that you need to view your house from. So just keeping that in mind, and I just wanted to show you that it is in 3D, just like your mega trees are all in 3D. Uh, that is already set up in x -Lite. So with that being said, let's go ahead and make some adjustments here. Now, I personally have made a spear model in the past, and that spear model had a total of 48 pixels in it. It's a very old video from my days of, of, of uh, uh, for my home display, which was Leechburg Lights. Uh, well, it is Leechburg Lights, but uh, the video that I made was a spear for, uh, it was a homemade spear. It wasn't anything fancy. I just used some wire. And it was very easy to make it. But uh, I used a total number of one string, and that one string had 48 pixels on it. And if you think about the number of pixels on the string and how, how many strings you're going to connect to the controller, and then we go strings per string, and this is this is how many uh, how many times you're going to go up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over. And if you think about that, I'm going to do that a total of six times. So now, if simple math is going to tell you six times eight equals forty eight, that meant I went up six, or I went up eight pixels, over and down eight pixels, and that should be what we we should come up with in our layout here. So I'll click save and right click and look at the node. Uh oh, I don't know, don't know what I did there. I must have zoomed in node layout, and here we see this is my old version of my. Um, my uh, my sphere, and that was node 1, string 1, going up to node 8, over to node 9, down to 16, and you can see this is all blue, and this is just zigzagging up, over, down, over, up, over, down. And that makes it really, really easy for you to begin to understand how the sphere model is laid out. Now, let's consider how the original sphere model is with the 10 strings at 10 pixels each. We're actually going to make that. Well, let's go ahead and update it to one output so that you know that you can e easily do this. Obviously, I just did it with this one, but if you have a 100 pixel sphere and it has 10 legs, we're going to say one, one, one output. We're going to use 100 pixels on that output. And then if we have 10 strings, 10 times 10 would be your 100. We could resize this down a little bit. And this is the exact identical model as it was earlier, but the only difference is going to be checking out our node layout. You'll see we have very easily changed it from uh, 10 separate strings to one specific string that goes up, over, down, over, up, over, down. Now, if you want to, you can always, you can always, always, always come over here and uh, set the bottom left, bottom right, top left or top right. So maybe this isn't going to go on your tree. You don't want this on the bottom. Maybe this is going to go hang over here on my front porch. And if it hangs on my front porch, maybe I want that top position where it's going to start. Uh, it's going to be at the top left because that's where that's the way I'm going to build it. Um, so remember, you can functionally change this to whatever your need is. Uh, the spear the spear model is actually pretty cool, but once again, all effects all effects are going to be rendered on this the exact same way that a vertical matrix would receive them, or a horizontal matrix, or just in general a mega tree. That's basically what the spear model is. It's nothing more than a matrix, but it is something really cool. And I wanted to take this moment today to uh, to show you guys all about how it works. So, guys, thanks for joining us in today's video. Once again, if you like this video, click the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button down here in the bottom right of your screen to get subscribed to the PPD YouTube channel. Always remember you can find help on our PPD Facebook page, which is Pixel Pro University on Facebook. Link is in the description. It's a wonderful community, which you should totally join. And finally, folks, if you appreciate what we do here on the PPD YouTube channel, you can always sign up to please become a PPD Sequence Club member to show your support for the PPD channel and all the content that we produce. Thank you, folks, for joining us, and we will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam.
And every time it rains, it rains. And don't 